Hello everyone, my name's Louise and today I'm going to paint a picture. Maybe you can paint a picture at home. Um, so I've got some paint, um, I've got some plastic plates to put the paint on. These are good because you can either throw them away or wash them if you haven't got a palette. And then I've got some different things from around my house to use to print with and to paint with. So I'll show you my colours first. So first colour I've got is yellow. Then I've got a pink. I've got orange. Whoops. I've got two Two greens, green, and my last colour I've got is blue. Okay, so they're the paints I'm going to use today. And around my house I found some bubble wrap. Found this under my sink, it's a scourer. Usually use it to clean the pots. Sponge, might have one of these in the bathroom. Half a potato, so we use that to print with. Um, I also, I'm gonna use some scrunched up paper. So that was just a piece of paper that I scrunched up. And I'm also going to use my finger or thumb, okay? So, before I start, I did put some newspaper down on my table, just to make sure I keep it nice and clean. So we'll do, we'll get a piece of paper, and we'll start off with the sponge. And I'm going to use green paint, and a bit of sponge. So we just get some paint on the sponge, and press it down onto the paper and it gives a nice pattern. You see? So you can cover your whole paper if you want. You could change the colour, do different colours. I'm just gonna do a colour on each sheet to show you the effect. So there's my sponge painting, and that was with the green paint. Okay, so we'll put that out of the way and next we're going to use orange paint with some bit of bubble wrap I think. Bit of bubble wrap, this is good because you can pop it as well. I can't pop it at the minute, don't know if you can hear that. But we'll do orange with the bubble wrap. So another piece of paper and again just press it down onto the paint and then dab it onto the paper. So you could get quite a bit on there or use a small bit. You see? There's different ways. Push it down And again, you could cover the whole sheet or just parts of the sheet if you wanted. Okay. And that was my printing and painting with bubble wrap. And that was with the orange paint. Okay, try a different one. Move that out of the way. Another piece of paper. Okay, so next I'm going to use the blue paint. Blue paint. And I'm going to use the scourer. Okay. So get some on my scourer. 
press it down onto the paper. You can dab it, squeeze it on, that gives a different effect if you squeeze and turn. I'll show you the different effects. So you can squeeze it and turn it or just dab. Okay. You see the different effects? So this side was dabbing and this was squeezing and turning. And that was with the, the blue paint and the scourer. Okay, so next, I might use the potato. So we're going to use the yellow paint, yellow. And we've got some here. So on this potato, I don't know if you can see, I tried to cut some bits of the potato out. So you might need to ask mum or dad or an adult to just help with that because obviously you'll need a sharp knife to do that. Okay, so put some paint on and it looks a little bit like it could be monster's feet. Sharp claws. Okay, so we press that down, press it quite hard. <clears throat> and there, you see the zigzags from the potato. Remember that was with the yellow paint and it was a potato we used. Okay, so we've got two left. And this, I'm going to do this with the pink paint. So I'm going to use the scrunched up piece of paper. So I just, piece of paper, scrunched it up, paint on, and again, pressing it onto the paper. Again, you could press it and twist it. Press it and twist it. Bit more paint on there. Or you can just dab, 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 dab. Okay. So can you see? This one was dabbing and tapping. This one was pressing and turning. So you've got two different effects. So that was with the pink paint. Okay, and the last one that we're going to do today, I'm going to keep using the pink paint and I'm going to use my finger or my thumb. So I'll start off with my thumb, get some paint and press. Okay, so that's my thumb or you could just put some all on your fingers. Remember not to put it in your mouth, on your fingers, tap it on the paper, there we go, and there we go, okay, so that was using the pink paint with my fingers and thumb. Okay, so, should we just remind ourselves about the colours again? So we used pink, we used orange, we used two different greens, we used a blue and a yellow. You might have different paint colours at home. These were just the ones I had in, at home here. Okay, and I did two pictures earlier. So I'll show you the two I did. I'm just hanging up here to dry. So I did a butterfly. And I also did a rainbow. Rainbow. Okay, so maybe you could do your pictures at home. 
Okay, bye.